Hello everybody, hope you're doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going through Bitcoin, Walton Chain and XLM Stellar Lumen. So I hope that you enjoy the video after, yeah, some big news for Bitcoin, obviously getting above its resistance trend line, which for me is like a really big thing. It is it is really nice to see finally a little bit of hope for the, hope for the balls, <laughs> hope for the balls, hope for the balls, you know, getting over some important resistance trend lines, okay? Uh, so this is obviously the trend line taken from the 5th of May and just extended down. So I'll delete it and show you. So you're taking the Ray tool from the high on the 5th of May, extending it down to the high on the 25th of July. And then you see how just really nicely it touches it on the high exactly on the 7th of November. So this is like a really, really big trend line resistance, obviously already touched three times. And then when we zoom down, uh, onto the daily. Uh, obviously, yesterday I posted out saying uh, I was entering the position uh, into the long position on Bitcoin through breaking that resistance. And obviously, yeah, for me, it was... Um a nice entry. So yeah, this was literally posted yesterday as we were coming down and retesting. So obviously, we had the break above. Uh, I was zooming down into the hourly chart and yeah, trying to, uh, you know, get in on an entry of the retest of this old resistance flipping into support potentially. Obviously, you have to be managing your risk in these sort of situations uh, in case of the scenario of just going straight back down through. But obviously, that long played out very nicely. And we actually had another, you know, wick up to the top of the range. So for that, that for me is like a 1% uh, scope up to the top of the range but then if you're using leverage you know that those one percent gains add up you know really nicely with a little bit of leverage chucked in there and now what i've done here is i've formed this parallel channel not taken from the high of the wick but taken from the high of the move down to the low okay and then from within here you can see how you can be sculpting then the middle to the bottom of the range where we've had you know three touches to the bottom and three to the top um you know if you exclude the wick you know one two three four five you know waiting for a break to uh, again if we can close up the uh, over the middle of the parallel channel or if we're going to get down and you know close down below and come down and test the test this old resistance again uh hopefully flipping into support well hopefully it doesn't really matter if it does or not but uh you know if you're a sculptor it doesn't matter whether it moves up or down from here but um you know that's what you should be keeping your eye on draw out this draw out this parallel channel and uh, if you like sculpting or you'd like to learn, you know, just watch out some, for these sort of movements and just see how it reacts really nicely to parallel channels. Um, you know, I'm going to keep the video relatively short today uh, because, yeah, I'm, life is still crazy busy. Um, so all I would say is, you know, watch out. Of, obviously, if we break to the middle, uh, break above the middle of the parallel channel, watch again for the top of the parallel. Uh, but in terms of Fibonacci, then, you know, a key level really is this 382. Uh, you can just see there's clear support on this 382. OK, if you like watch around, uh, I'm going to take off this magnet tool temporarily. But you can see in this whole region of the 382 where it's been, you know, clearly acting as res support, support, resistance, 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 or like support around here, resistance, you know, coming down, acting as resistance coming through. You know, there is a potential of this 3970 acting as a strong support where you also have coinciding the old resistance trend line okay so there's clear support below and obviously yeah without a doubt there's there's clear resistance above as well okay obviously um yeah not as much uh, on a smaller term time frame but you do have this whole region of wicks okay so you know you could potentially get another parallel channel running within here on a bigger term time frame but it's not going to be as clean okay the really nice clean parallel channel is on the smaller term time frame for bitcoin and then Really simply, if you don't want to be trading this and you just want to get in on a bigger term swing trade, then you would just have your alerts placed really above the wicks. OK, so you're, you're going to have an alert placed around 4080 and a, an alert placed around 3950. And you could just be trading the overall bigger breaks. Um, that's totally respectable if you want to get in on the, more of a, a swing trade uh, or trade with, you know, hopefully momentum. Um so yeah, that, that's what I'd be watching, but I, I am going to be sculpting this for the evening. Um, yeah, today I've been really busy. I haven't been around too much trading, uh, but yeah, I will now continue to sculpt the, the rest of this parallel channel and see how it plays out. But um, yeah, that was just an update for Bitcoin, uh, ex explaining why I logged, went into that long position yesterday. Obviously, that entry was a three. Yeah, it was literally around th this sort of price. Obviously, I enter and then post, so my entry was a, was about one dollar less, so about three thousand nine hundred ninety four, uh, which was a really nice entry up to the top of the range. Uh, literally, yeah, one percent sculpt. Uh, but I will take another long uh, from, you know, the bottom of the parallel again and, and just, you know, continue to sculpt this range and then add on an overall break upwards or downwards into a long or short position. Um, yeah, just just trading Bitcoin, sculpting Bitcoin, really, really, really fun when it's like in these sort of ranges. I love sculpting parallel channels like this. It's, it's really easy. 
Okay, uh, so moving on to Walton Chain, and then I'll cut, end with XLM Stellar Lumens. So Walton Chain, um, <laughs> this is what I was going to do. Oh my god, thank you. I can't believe I won. Thank you, Walton Team. Keep doing the great work going to the moon. <laughs> I hope that you all get this reference, because this is the reference of the tweet that was put out. It's absolutely hilarious, by the way. Um, I, I like Walton Chain, okay? It's one of the coins I like. I, I do like fundamentally Walton Chain, but this is a tweet. Um, they've done like a competition. This must have been like about six, nearly a year ago, maybe. I can't remember, but maybe one year ago, something like this. They've done a competition for a giveaway and uh, they replied to their own giveaway saying, oh my God, can't believe I won. Thank you, Walton team. Keep doing the great work. And it was by their official account. Um, they obviously deleted the tweet or something because I was trying to find it. I couldn't, but that's just really hilarious. And it always reminds me about this uh, whenever I trade this coin uh, that they done that fake giveaway and as uh, uh, supposedly what Justin Sun done on Tron apparently the guy won the Tesla and you know apparently that was all a scam but I have no idea really but uh, yeah Walton Chain really uh, this blue line is a daily resistance and the yellow line is a weekly resistance and this was a, just a case of old resistance getting broken flipping into support trading up to weekly resistance okay this is like a 17% gain, by the way. Um, so that's this just like, like the signs of being aware. And I'll show you this weekly resistance to the yellow line. And just look how perfect it is, literally. Um, so you see here at a week. Oh, excuse me weekly here. So you see support, support. Where did it? What happened? It flipped lovely into resistance. Um, so, yeah, now we have like an equilibrium of the blue line uh, that just that old old resistance was broken flipped into support moves up 17 percent so if you're aware and can be trading these short coins it's like really really lovely and uh Walton chain is a coin that i like although always makes me laugh whenever i trade this coin uh but yeah nice enough than nevertheless 17 percent uh that's a that's a weak maker right there one trade can make a whole week um <laughs> so ending with uh stellar lumens which i'm still in a long on uh, obviously, uh, we was talking about this. Uh, I'm I'm so aware now. Where I accidentally keep making this sign. <laughs> so apologies when I make this size <laughs> this noise. So it's just something that I just subconsciously do. I think. Um, so uh, yeah, it's some somebody commented saying, "Oh, can you stop doing with your with your teeth?" And I really do not try and do it. And I can understand how that's annoying. So. Um, yeah, you're just going to have to bear with me while I accidentally keep making these noises. <laughs> but yeah, Stellar Lumens again. As you all know, I longed, I took a long off of this position as we were covering last week. Uh, literally long in the bottom of here. Uh, what I was obviously looking at as the wave four. Okay, now looks like we could be forming a one two. Okay, where's this two coming down to? <laughs> really nicely again. Old resistance of a sub wave turning into support on the 382. And this is another 2% move that's happened. Okay. To now now moving up since I've made the video about 2.3% move okay from the 382 so there's like retracements that you can be buying in here sculpting retracement sort of thing um yeah it's just like really nice and now this could be the one two of the overall fifth um so yeah the this trade has obviously turned out lovely and this is one that I literally commented about and talked about a few days ago on YouTube. So the, the opportunity was there to join in on this. Um, and then, yeah, Walton Chain with, with obviously now Walton Chain is at a really big weekly resistance. So this resistance is really big. So you would want to see some some quality, some hopefully some get some sort of consolidation underneath the resistance breaking through or maybe retesting. Um, so that's what you should be keeping an eye on or alternatively seeing if we get another move down and end up moving in this range. Uh, Walton, Choi, Walt, Walton, Walton Chain is a coin that I really like. And uh, yeah, it's on my radar of, of coins that I always trade. Oh, not always trade. It's not like I always trade Walton Chain. That's the wrong word. But coins that I keep an eye on of Bitcoin pairs uh, because I mainly trade USD Tether pairs. Um, but yeah, it's a coin that I watch uh, against BTC because obviously um, I'm so excited, by the way, if if. If if Binance get margin trading, oh my god, I would you know have an absolute field day. It would be the biggest money maker in the world. If really, if Binance do, I've heard the rumors uh, that the API keys have supposedly got um, API keys have supposedly got the um, allow margin trading built, you know, coming. So. Um, yeah, that's exciting if that, you know, that comes to fruition. So I hope that it does. Really, really hope that it does. Just trading some of these altcoins would be absolutely amazing on margin. 
and you know just the ability to short them is would be a whole game changer it's probably going to be like bitfinex though where not all of the alts are available for margin trading so obviously on bitfinex you have what like let's just say 50 coins and only let's say like 10 of them you can margin trade so i imagine it would be the same on on uh, binance if it comes out that you know they obviously have hundreds of altcoins but maybe you can only uh, you know margin trade 10 of them but either way that would be amazing it really really would be amazing not just for the space but for uh you know avid traders alike like uh, that would be amazing news and i really really hope it is uh, true I, I don't see why it wouldn't be true because um they could make a lot of money uh, imagine that being fueled by binance coin um yeah that would be like massive um so yeah that that could uh insider trading is it coming true is that why uh, binance coin ran up so much uh time will tell that's speculation um but yeah hope you've enjoyed this video just coming back to Bitcoin here, yeah, no, just real, keep keep your eye on this parallel channel. I think it's going to be telling whether we break down or up. You know, if we break down, I'll be looking at the 382 first and then the, the old, old resistance trend line flipping into support possibly again. Uh, so this target's on the way down, obviously on the way up. If we manage to break through this resistance, you really are going to be looking up to around this, you know, you know, really for me would be around 4,000 old consolidation starting around 4,100 up to 4,190. You know, that would be your next resistance area that you're looking at from that old consolidation like this. You know, so you've got areas to be playing for upwards and downwards or just literally sculpting the parallel channel that we're in right now. Um, so, yeah, there's there's opportunities across the board. Uh, as you all know, literally for the few last few months now, I've been trading more so uh, altcoins, continue to do that. Uh, really am enjoying the altcoins. Uh, made the noise again. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm really enjoying the altcoins still, you know, absolutely loving the altcoins right now to be honest uh, and there's op obviously opportunities on different ones that are pulling back okay so obviously another one that i traded today was icon because that pulled back heavily and then when you get a pullback okay when you get the pullback then there's the opportunity of obviously you know going into longs and just intraday sort of sculpting in day trading uh so there's opportunities like even i just wouldn't randomly mention that one obviously uh ontology another one that i like trading had the same upwards movement today you know coming on down to pullbacks you know trading up the pullbacks up to old you know buying the pullbacks on fibonacci levels up to the old sort of resistance flipping into support and just you know doing the same things it's just really really easy easy money um and i don't want to sound um what's the right word i'm looking for condescending uh because i understand that it's not easy for everybody but once you learn it it's um it's like trading this is really easy for me but um yeah it's obviously enjoyable as well I, I love it and yeah i hope that you've enjoyed this video um thank you walton chain <laughs> please bring us another pump that would be lovely uh, and i hope that you have enjoyed this video and i will catch you in the next one which uh, looking at my schedule um yeah i have no idea when the next video is going to be i could potentially have one tomorrow actually looking at it yeah tomorrow evening or the saturday um well actually saturday probably not i am going to be bringing my laptop to barcelona so i'll see how it goes um i could potentially do one from barcelona we'll, we'll see how it goes but obviously i have my um yeah i'll be away but i will be bringing my laptop so maybe <laughs> we'll see we'll see how busy i am when i'm over there probably quite busy so it's unlikely but um yeah who knows um so i hope you've enjoyed this video nevertheless and thank you so much for watching and i will catch you in the next one cheers everybody thank you bye <laughs>